Hello, my name is Dr. Armodius Hatsidakis. I'm a fellowship trained orthopedic surgeon at Western Orthopedics, and I specialize in treating conditions and injuries of the shoulder and elbow. In this video, I will be discussing shoulder instability. The shoulder has a very important role in our bodies. It is a ball and socket joint that is crucial in helping position our hands up above our heads, as well as away from our bodies. Shoulder instability is when the ball will not stay in the socket. It usually occurs after a dislocation event in which the ball shifts away from the socket, like this. It is different from a shoulder separation, which is when the collarbone ligaments get injured away from the shoulder blade up in this area here. Shoulder stability is a complex interplay between bony stabilizers as well as soft tissue stabilizers. The bones and the shape of the bones provide some stability to the shoulder. However, soft tissues have both static stabilizers, which are the ligaments in the front, back, top, and bottom of the shoulder joint, as well as the dynamic stabilizers, which are the muscles of the rotator cuff, as well as the muscles that move your shoulder blade. It is this complex interplay that keeps the ball from dislocating out of the socket. When you have a dislocation event, there is an injury to the static stabilizers of the capsule and ligaments, as well as the labrum, which is the fibrous cartilage attachment of the capsule on the rim of the socket. This injury is one of the main reasons that we see people continue to have dislocation events. The younger you are when you have a dislocation, the higher your chance of having repeat dislocation events. The more dislocations you have, the more chance the shallow glenoid socket will become damaged with chip fractures off the front of the socket leading to dislocations that occur more easily, akin to a golf ball falling off of a chipped golf tee.